morning po sa bawat isa. Uh, truly our God is gracious sa pagbigay sa atin ng panibagong buhay sa araw na ito. Uh, naway mabigay natin sa Kanya ang karapat dapat na papuri na para sa Kanya lang. Let's open po muna in a word of prayer and commit to the Lord uh, this devotion natin. Let's pray. Our gracious God and uh, loving Heavenly Father, we praise you and we worship you for this new life, Father. Salamat po sa uh, kapahingahan na aming mga pangatawan. Salamat po sa pagkain ng aming nakakain. And thank you, Father, for your people that you used to reach out to us in times of uh, our needs. Be with us this morning, Father, as and lead us as we study your word. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Our text this morning po sa ating devotion can be read at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all agree and that there be no divisions among you, but that you may be made complete in the same mind and in the same judgment. I titled this morning's devotion as, Who is the Better Leader? So, ang 2022 elections po ay malapit na. And with due respect din po sa ating uh, sa, sa people involved, same is our election sa uh, as senior pastor po sa ating church. And also, uh, at the end of the year, we will have our organizational uh, election for the new sets of officers. So, the danger here <clears throat> is that Uh, we may have different biases towards our candidates or the candidates that we prefer. Uh, this may also lead to disagreements. Some may raise concerns. Hindi na po bago yung nangyayari ngayon compared to dun sa uh, ating text. In our text, the Apostle Paul received news that the believers in Corinth are, are now being steered by their biases on who is the better leader or teacher. So, nung tempo na to, Or we can read that in verse 2. Now I mean this, that each one of you is saying, I am with Paul, or I am with Apollos, or I am with Cephas, or I am with Christ. So there, there's a lot of teachers na uh, nasa Corinth na ang tao is nagkakaroon sila ng pagpipili kung sino ang better uh, teacher, better leader. And this led them to divisions. They were saying bad things na sa, uh, sa ibang teachers to promote their their biased uh, teacher or their biased leader. So Paul's response was to remind everyone that the center of all of the believers is the Lord Jesus Christ. He asked them, Has Christ been divided? Paul was not crucified for you, was he? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? So Paul reminded the Corinthian believers that they are to settle their minds and judgment in verse 10 po, but that You may be made complete in the same mind and the same judgment. Mind and judgment. That's mind. So it means internally, our uh, their internal individual minds and judgment. Their external difference in decisions. Let us read the word of the Lord for uh, That you all agree that there be no divisions among you. Or to paraphrase po siya sa current time natin. That we are to that we are all to agree that there be no division among us. This teacher is better than that teacher, or sabi natin mas magaling si pastor ganito. That's what the current that's what the Corinthians was doing that time, and that led to the promotion of division. The preceding chapters po or hanggang sa chapter 4, uh presents that the church is a community of people where the Lord Jesus Christ is the center or the Lord Jesus Christ is the leader. In chapter 4, we can read that every one of us are, to, are servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are all under one leading. We should focus on the, on the voice of our master through other servants. As the other servants or teachers or leaders are speaking in front, Look for the voice of the Lord. Yun po yung focus natin. Not the servants, not the leaders, nor not the teachers. That's how the Bible came to be. The Word of God 
through his servants, si Moses, David, the prophets, the apostles, all focuses on God as the center. We may perceive our leaders or our teachers or leaders differently sa ministry po ng Panginoon. Uh, but this morning, have in mind that our goal is to promote the gospel where Christ is the hero, not our leaders nor our teachers. And that we are to be united in mind and in judgment that we all serve under one supreme God. Now your question po ulit, who is the better leader? No one else but our God. Let's pray. Our gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, we ask for forgiveness if there may be times uh, that we may unconsciously promote divisions in our church or in your church, Father. Guide our hearts as well as our words. Uh, give us wisdom, Father, as we converse with our brethren. May we reflect the unity that you promote and may we stand as one, giving glory to you alone. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Good morning po sa bawat isa.